Hi, uh, this is Irma Grego from Senior Perspective. And today we're going to take a little turn to something else other than history. Um, I thought you might be interested in some of the artistic work that Mary Ann Yoris, who is my guest today, and uh, I'm going to ask her some questions and that about how she started and what made her interested in all this and everything. So um, let's get started on this. And uh, Mary Ann, this is your debut. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so thanks for inviting me to come. Um, I started painting uh, many years ago, probably over 30 years ago. Uh, it, it started with me going up to my mother's house and my brother, he had just uh, uh, bought a set of paints. He was a student in college and he thought he'd try it. And uh, he painted a couple little pictures and then he said to me, I said, boy, would I love to paint. And he says, here, take the paints and go home and paint. Oh. And that's just what I did. I took him up on it. I took the paints, went home, and I started taking classes and uh, just more or less self-taught a lot of times. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy it very, very much. Well, we can see by all the work that you have here. I mean, and we'll be showing all your paintings and that in a little bit. But uh, first of all, um, Oh, you've been painting, like you said, for quite a while then. Right, by roughly uh, over 30 years. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, what uh, paintings? Do you want to talk about your paintings now, or is uh -huh. there something else you'd like um, to uh, well, discuss? Well, I paint, I paint in uh, uh, different mediums. I paint in watercolor, uh, acrylics, oils. I started out as an oil painter, and then... I gradually went into the acrylics, and uh, now I'm painting in watercolors, and I enjoy all three mediums. Well, each one is different then, each, different per se, procedures and all right. that? Right. It's the way you uh, learn to handle your paint, your medium, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I, as well, I said, I painted different... different products too, then. Right, different products. And uh, the uh, oils, um, that's what I started with. But then the acrylics, I had a hard time when I first uh, went into painting acrylics because it was, I was used to painting in oils. And it's entirely different when you go into painting in acrylics. Well, does the oil spread easier or something? Uh, is that what it is? Or? Well, the oils, you can blend them a lot, in a lot nicer. They move around. They move around. Them. Where your acrylic paints, they tend to dry faster and... Uh, you don't have an, as much open time or play time, and you have to learn to float and, uh, you know, and to uh, blend thicker? your colors. Are they thicker in consistency? They are co thicker in consistency, uh, but it's just a different type of medium. And then you go to watercolor, and your watercolor, you have to know how to control how much water you have in your brush and how you put it on the paper, you know, the watercolor paper. And uh, it's just... Uh, it's a different procedure different, different altogether. Different procedure, <laughs> right. Now some uh, of these Is this paintings, a watercolor here? Okay, this is, that. no, that's, a, that's an acrylic painting. Oh. And the background is done with, um, it has um, a texture medium put on, crackling medium put on the background on that one. And then um, this one is a watercolor over here with the... Uh, that is a watercolor? That's a watercolor. It almost looks like a photograph. And then uh, the top in there, that is uh, the onions. Uh, yeah. They're also um, uh, done in acrylics with a crackling medium in the background, and that is done on oil on wood. And I like to paint on different uh, surfaces. Uh, this one's canvas, that one's wood. Uh, then we have the um, barn up there. Uh, that barn, that octagon barn, was on Route 19 oh, yeah. for men, and they dismantled it. And it's now. Where did it go to? I'm not real sure. I've heard Lig up in Ligonier area, but I, I really don't know for sure. Uh, and I've never seen it after it's left, you know, right. Route 19. But when I heard about it or read about it in the newspaper that they were going to uh, dismantle it, I grabbed my pa camera and I went up. And then from the road, I took uh, quite a few pictures of it. And Oh, well, you painted it from a picture then? Just, yes, a little five by seven picture, right. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That'd be an achievement there alone. <laughs> and then the, uh, the birds here, uh, I did that. That's done on a wraparound canvas. 
That's done on a canvas. What do you mean by wrap around canvas? Wrap around, uh, the uh, canvas goes around the side and you do not have to have um, a, a frame for it. It's just, it wraps right around the side. Oh. Very interesting. And then this, I like to paint on wood and this is a wooden box here with the Santa. I love to paint Santas <laughs> and I've painted quite a few of those. And then we have the porcelain eggs. These are cute. Those are I cute. love these. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. I belong to an organization, and we're going to be having um, uh, a basket lunch, and I'm, I'll get into that a little yeah. later, okay. and I'll explain mm -hmm. to you. Oh, I, I should show you my other pictures oh, yes. too. Uh -huh. I just sure. my daughter wanted um, uh, an oak uh, waste basket uh, painted. She wanted the front painted. And so she went, where she lives in Maryland, uh, they have a lot of Amish people down there, and she went to uh, one of the Amish outlets there, and she purchased this non-finished uh, waste basket. And I brought it home from her house. She lives in Maryland. And this is the, um, this is the front of, um, I don't know, can you get a shot of that? That's the front, the, do, uh, the door of the uh, waste basket. This is in solid oak. And uh, then I painted, uh, I wanted to put something on top, so this is what I put on top of it, maybe. This is the whole thing as it looks. Wait, let me get that straight. Can I hold it too? Okay, can you get that? That's, and this is what is actually on top of it. It's two little Amish children. Oh. I, well, she has a boy and a girl, so I said, well, one's Ruby and one's Jonah. They're five and three. <laughs> so I said, uh, that's Jonah and Ruby going down the path to pick some strawberries. And there's a little <laughs> patch up there that I designated being the strawberry patch. Oh. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, the project that I just finished lately. And I also had a bench. I brought pictures of a bench, but I'm not sure where I laid those mm -hmm. pictures down. But um, this is what I do in my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> spare time? <laughs> it sounds like it's a pretty busy time. Right. <laughs> okay. And uh, I noticed when I talked to you, you said something you do teach painting? Yes, I do. I teach uh, for um, community college. I'm currently teaching. Uh, at uh, Cannon Mac High School, a watercolor class. Uh, I have also taught acrylic up there in oil painting. Um, and I've taught also at Trinity High School. And then um, I also teach for the Golden Triangle Decorative Painters. We have uh, a retreat once a year at Ligonier. And it's a four day retreat. And it's just, it's in October. Oh, that's and, a beautiful oh, time Oh, it is. Year. We're driving up to the mountains in October and the light shining or the sun shining on the trees. It's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then I teach for um, like Town and Country. It's another art group and I, it's uh, in Sarver, Pennsylvania. And I teach up there also. And uh, I've been teaching for a long time too. Yeah. <laughs> and I enjoy it very much. I get great satisfaction out of teaching. Well, where do you teach then for this Golden Triangle? Okay, uh, we, okay, the Golden Triangle Decorative Painters, um, uh, we uh, were formed about 26 years ago. Uh, we meet at the Masonic Hall uh, in Bethel Park on the third Sunday of every other month, starting in January. So we just had a meeting here on, uh, in March, March the 20th. And uh, the next one will be in May. Uh, we have um, usually two, two classes uh, at a meeting. And uh, the local teachers will be, to, you know, teaching there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the classes well, there's a, like a group of teachers that come there then and uh, have classes formed or something? Or? Well, the way, yes. Uh, what we do is that uh, you sign up for a class. And we'll uh, present oh, the see. project maybe. A, a couple meetings ahead of time, the girls will see, uh, you know, what is being offered, and they'll, you know, they'll sign their name to uh, what they want to do for that uh, meeting. And the classes start at nine o'clock in the morning, 
and then we go to uh, uh, lunch. We always we always have a nice lunch at around oh, you twelve o'clock. Oh that. yes, yeah, can't do without that. <laughs> and the girls bring all this good food in, so we eat. And then uh, it, sometimes the, then we have one o'clock. Our meeting starts, and then after that we go to. Uh, if the class continues, it'll continue after the meeting. But uh, oh. I'll be teaching in um, July. I'll, I'll have a. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, how large are the classes? Are there mixed groups or? Mixed ages or what? Uh? It's a mixed age. We have a new member that uh, I think she's uh, 12 years old. She just joined oh, wow. our group. <laughs> yeah. And she, she is just so energetic. Her name is Sierra. And we would, uh, we would love to have, uh, you know, more younger people coming in. And anyone who is interested in art or painting, I would love to have you come to our meeting. So remember the third uh, Sunday of every other month, mm -hmm. starting in January. And uh, I have um, my telephone number to, you know, you can call me for information, and I think they'll put it on the yeah, screen later on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it sounds like you're, you've got a pretty big year planned ahead of you. Oh, we do. <laughs> In our organization, we have, um, we have a service project. We, um, uh, for this year, we uh, painted ornaments, and we decorated a tree. And it's mm -hmm. going to be for a project bundle up. Oh, a Christmas project, is, right. right? But we will be uh, offering it uh, to the um, project bundle up, and they have an auction. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, but um, it'll be on there. Mm -hmm. And so we do that. And then we do also paint memory boxes for, um, we donate to the local hospitals for. Um, uh, Parents who may have lost children or loved ones, you know. What is that like? I mean, uh, a memory box, is it? A memory box, it would be similar to a, a box like this, a round box. Mm -hmm. And uh, like for the children, they would put something, you know, that's more, you know, adapted, like pertaining for a child, to, right? To them. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the girls even line the boxes inside. They're gorgeous. And they'd give them to the hospital. This way, if uh, a loved one would pass away, or a baby, you know, they can put all the little memorabilia Memories. right into the box and take That's it home. That's a wonderful idea. And they're only one place and, you know, and they can look at that, and which, mm -hmm. is, which is really great. Now, I mentioned that um, uh, that we, uh, we're going to have our, um, we're going to have a basket luncheon, and that's going to be uh, held on April the 10th, and it'll be at Peter's Place. Uh, you have to uh, purchase your ticket before April the first, and it um, and at that lunch, I don't, let me Will show you. Will it be advertised? Uh, it's been advertised. I'm publicity chairman, so I've been <laughs> advertising, and I think it's on the screen right now. Um, and that'll be uh, for um, at Peter's place. It'll start at 12 o'clock noon, and. Uh, the tickets are twenty dollars, and you can call me, or there's a, another number. There'll be a couple numbers, uh, and you can call for tickets. But the money has to be in by April first because they have to know how much, um, how many people will be coming. That's a great place. Oh, that it Peter's is. Peter's place. Mm -hmm. Yes, really great. And uh, I, let me talk a little about our about um, uh, our retreat at Antioch and Village. If if anybody is really interested in getting away and painting, I mean, this you go away, there's no TV in the room. We have a five-star chef who, who provides uh, the food. And I mean, the, you pay one price and you know, you, you, get, you eat you get as much as it. you <laughs> want. You get your money's worth. And uh, we have a hospitality room where we kind of meet, you know, between classes or any evening and just socialize. We have a Ways and Means table. I'm chairman of the Ways and Means table. <laughs> and uh, uh, the members can uh, sell things that they have, you know, that they may not, you know, want anymore. Like you, if you're a painter like me, you accumulate a lot of things <laughs> that you think you're going to paint on and then you don't. You don't. And then you move on in your life and you get, you know, you do better and more 
larger things and you say, well, why did I buy that? And so <laughs> on our Ways and Means table, you can sell it and there's always somebody that's interested in buying what you have. Right, there's somebody that likes what else you have done right. that you're through with and then somebody else can enjoy it. Right, mm -hmm. and um, we... Uh, this Antioch Inn Village I see here, it's in the Ligonier, right. the it's 20th like, and the 23rd. Right, it's from the, it's from the 20th June. to the 23rd of October and uh, Antioch Inn is run by the, by the Byzantine Church, and uh, it's up in the mountains. It's six exactly six miles out of Ligonier. When you go into Ligonier, you make the, like a half circle, then you go out on 611, I believe it is. Six miles, and it's uh, up in the mountains there, and it's... Is it a lodge-like or something? It's a lodge-type thing, right, uh-huh, mm -hmm. and they have retreats. Um, and it's one big, large building, and uh, you know, just is that for the public, or is that just for members of? Uh, n well, they hold retreats. We've been having our retreats up there for, oh, probably last. So anybody maybe can, years. Uh, if they want to, that's interested in painting or art or anything like that, can come to that. Yes, all you have to do is contact one of our our members, or come to a meeting. You can contact me, and I'll see that you get the information mm -hmm. for that. Oh, uh, while we were talking about the basket lunch, let me show you a couple samples of the uh, porcelain eggs. Everybody who comes to uh, the uh, basket luncheon will receive, as a favor, one of our decorated uh, porcelain eggs. Oh. And uh, these are just a couple that I have done, oh, I guess several years ago I've done it, but there are, every one will be uh, different, and they're just gorgeous. So, uh, and then we have door prizes at our basket luncheon. The girls have been busy painting door prizes. And well, I think just about, busy group. Every, just about everybody <laughs> who comes will get a door prize. And I think in the past they have. And then we will um, be uh, having uh, a Chinese raffle for the baskets that we're preparing. And the girls are busy uh, putting together baskets and each basket should have at least two painted items in it. And then uh, you, you purchase your ticket and you drop it in, you know, the basket that you'd like to win. Oh. And then we have the drawing. And it's, we've, in the past, we've had around 300 people attend. So, I mean, it's, oh, you know. It's not a little affair. No, it's not a little <laughs> affair. It's a big affair. Uh -huh. And that is held where? Uh, at Peter's Place. That's the one that's held mm -hmm. at Peter's Place. Okay. And then your, uh, the other one is at Ligonier. Mm -hmm. And where is your bundle up? Uh, that'll be in Pittsburgh. That's on t that'll be on TV. On TV. Then when they have the auction. Mm -hmm. I also might want to mention that um, uh, our organization, the Golden Triangle Decorative Painters, we're affiliated with the National Society of Toll and Decorative Painters out of Wichita, Kansas. And they have... Um, uh, retreats or seminars once a year. They'll have a um, convention type thing. And they've had them in the past all over the United States. And I've been lucky enough to attend quite a few of them. I've gone to Salt Lake City, Florida, uh, D.C., uh, Kansas City, Wichita, Kansas, just to name a few places. Mm -hmm. And any time you meet other painters, I don't know, we're just a different group of people. I mean, you know, you may not have known anyone there, but before, you know, before you know it, you, you're really you're good friends. Good friends. I've gone to lunch and had, you know, by myself and had no place to sit, and then somebody would say, come sit with us, you know, before long you meet them and, you know, you become You're friends. friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, another thing, uh, when I, after interviewing several painters and that, and I found out that you see a lot of things out there that I would not see, that uh, I could look at a picture, and what I would see would be nothing compared to what you would see. Right, after a while, you know, you, uh, you, know, you look at something and you can just about see what's wrong with it. Being a teacher, someone once told me, you can't be a teacher unless you can, you know, find, fix everyone's problem. <laughs> 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 and uh, I, uh, 
I believe that's true because sometimes you know you look you know they'll be painting something and you'll think oh, what are they painting? Where are they going <laughs> yeah. with that? Yeah. But uh, it uh, so I enjoy it very much. I enjoy painting. Yeah, you look yeah, like I you do. do. Yeah, I do, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I enjoy talking about it too, as you can tell. Uh -huh. Well, when there's something you're interested in, it, it just it seems to flow. It does. I mean, you know that. It, uh, that's true. Uh -huh. And so well, this has been very, very interesting in that. And you brought so many beautiful things and everything that uh, well, I just, I'm just I, amazed at all that. I, I couldn't really bring too much. I had to kind of limit myself. <laughs> you know, I just uh, grabbed a few things. And uh, I do, I accumulate a lot of things <laughs> in my house. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's really wonderful that you are having me here. To well, do it's this. wonderful you coming. I uh -huh. mean, it was uh, a pleasure uh -huh. seeing all this, and I mean, seeing what a person can do. I mean, it, it's amazing. And I've taken a can. lot of classes. I still take classes all the time. You know, well, you can and always you, learn. you have to. You can always learn, and you know, don't take classes just from one teacher. I always tell my students take classes from many different uh, teachers, because. You learn, you pick up little things that they do. You may not even know, you know, that, you know, or they may not know that, you know, they're doing something extra special. But you, if you just watch them and observe them, maybe the way they hold their brush, maybe how much paint they put on the brush, just small little things like that. So there's little tricks that, uh, you know, I guess it would make develop. a difference how much paint mm -hmm. you put on oh, that brush. Oh, definitely, definitely. Hmm. And then the medium that you're working in, that all, you know, the yeah, I guess everything has a different texture. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. hmm. Well, <laughs> so it's just very interesting in that. And it was just a piece of wood. And yet right. what you can do to a piece of wood. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, and then the finishing. Uh-huh. So, well, it's been wonderful talking to you, and I wish you a lot of luck with all your different well, thank you. ventures. Thank you. Thank you. So. I also painted a, a bench here recently, too. I, I brought pictures of that, but I don't, I'm not sure where I put them. Oh. But uh, I, I did a, a bench. A natural bench? A bench, yeah. Oh. It's a large bench. and. Uh, you painted the back of it or no, something? No, I didn't. I painted the seat. Oh, and the I put seat? Fruit, yeah, I put fruit on it. Oh. And... Uh, it came out really, it was a big project, <laughs> you know, because yeah. you know, when you start, even this uh, cabinet that I did f uh, for my daughter, I had to stain the whole thing inside and outside, and then I painted this in acrylic. On I did wood? On, yeah, in, in acrylic, but I stained it with the oil, uh, with, um, the I used that min, min wax, the stain. So, it, you know, it was an involved project. Yeah. And Let's see, is this a, uh, is this the, the side and then that's, that's the That's the front of it. This is the front of it. And this is the top of it. Like the top, the flat top, and the front. And then. Oh, mm-hmm. And this and is, this is the lid. That's the lid, right. That's the top. It, uh, the door, uh, drawer opens up this way. On this oh. Waist. So, and I, since she, uh, she wanted an Amish, theme on it, so I put the Amish buggy on it. Yeah. So. Look at the detail of that. I mean, it's really, that's very really interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, well, is there anything else you can think about or uh, that you well, want to mention? Well, uh, if uh, anyone's interested in, um, you know, getting tickets for our basket luncheon and coming to Peter's Place on April the 10th, um, we invite you, give you to call. come, give us a call. Uh, also, if you're interested, come to our meeting. Come to one of our meetings and, uh, you know, see what we're all about. Uh, I think painting is great therapy. You know, people, you can get lost for hours painting. And it's, um, you know, it's be pretty steady, though, to hold a brush and uh, paint. I mean, I'd probably have it all over the place. <laughs> My students, oh, I also teach a group up in Washington. Didn't tell you about them. I have a group there that we have been painting together for over 10 years, this group. And we started because I was teaching a class at community college. And 
after the class was over, one of the girls approached me and she said, if uh, we find a place for you to paint, will you come and continue teaching us? Wow. And I said, <laughs> okay. So she, uh, she found a place in her home and uh, we've been going up there for over 10 years now. We meet every week. We met on Thursday evening for many years and now we switched it to Friday afternoon because we're all retired. Mm -hmm. and, uh, How can you paint in the evening? I mean, don't you need the, the light? Oh, she had, she had all uh, overhead lights installed. She, <laughs> made it, she made it really nice for us. She <laughs> had uh, the overhead lights installed, so we had good lighting, and we just painted. Well, be darned. And, uh, they, they are all good painters, too, I can really say that. Mm -hmm. So it can really become a great hobby. Re it really, you, it can. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not that expensive either. Some people think it, you know, you get ex real expensive, but I don't think it's, you know, that expensive. Well, I have a girlfriend that's a painter, uh, Tina Wagner. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've I heard, of her. I've heard of her. Do you know Tina? I don't know her personally, but I've heard of her. Mm -hmm. I went to school with her. And uh, she does a lot of painting, and some of the things that she painted have been beautiful. And then some local things and all, mm -hmm. you know. So... Uh, but it always amazed me is what she could see that I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like I said, a painter can see so much more into an object than what an ordinary person just doesn't see it. <laughs> right. So, okay, now, is there anything else you would um, like to talk about? There's really not too much more other than, you know, uh, pushing the our basket luncheon, the Golden That's Triangle the first Decorative thing. Painters. That's the first thing. Uh, and uh, come join us at our retreat. And come see you know see us mm -hmm. come to one of our meetings okay and we have your phone number right and, you do uh, your name and where everything's going to be held great and that so uh, i wish you lots of luck thank you and, and uh, thank you so very much for having me on the show oh it's been great thank you so much and this is irma grego from senior perspective